Samsung is preparing a major leap with its upcoming flagship chipset, the Exynos 2600, planned for 2026. This chip is special for several reasons, but the biggest highlight is its GPU. For the first time ever, an Exynos processor is using AMD's latest RDA4 GPU architecture. Even more interesting is the fact that while the technology is based on AMD's design, the entire GPU development work has been done by Samsung itself. The Exynos 2600 is also making history as the world's first smartphone chipset built on a 2 nanometer process. This smaller process allows more transistors to fit into the chip, which usually results in better performance and improved power efficiency. Another surprising change is that the Exynos 2600 does not include an integrated cellular modem, something Samsung had included in most of its recent Exynos chips. This suggests Samsung is rethinking its design approach to focus heavily on raw performance and efficiency. The GPU inside the Exynos 2600 is called the Exclipse 960, According to reports from South Korean publication The Elect, this GPU uses AMD's RDN4 based MGX4 architecture. RDN4 is AMD's newest graphics architecture designed to deliver higher performance per compute unit while consuming less power. In simple terms, each unit of the GPU can do more work without draining the battery too fast, which is very important for smartphones. To understand the improvement, it helps to look at how the GPU is built. In AMD's RDN design, the main to workgroup processor, or WGP, each WGP contains two compute units, also known as CUs. The Xclipse 960 GPU inside the Exynos 600 reportedly has eight WGPs, which means a total of 16 compute units. These are clocked at around 980mHz. This clock speed is actually slightly lower than the 999mHz clock speed of this 950 GPU found in the Exynos 2500. Despite running at a lower clock speed, the new GPU is claimed to be much faster. Reports suggest that the Xclipse 9 and 60 delivers up to two times better performance compared to the GPU in the Exynos 2500. That is a massive jump in just one generation. On top of that, ray tracing performance is said to be 50% faster than the previous Exynos chip. Ray tracing is a graphics technique that makes lighting shadows and reflections look more realistic, especially in modern games. The reason behind this big performance boost lies in the MGFX architecture. MGFX is Samsung's modified and reduced version of AMD's RDNA architecture. AM's RDNA was originally designed for desktop, class graphics cards, which are large and consume a lot of power. Smartphones, on the other hand, need small chips that can run efficiently without overheating. Samsung takes AMD's RDNA intellectual property and reshapes it to fit the strict power and size limits of mobile devices. This collaboration between Samsung and AMD is not new. Samsung began working with AMD on mobile GP technology back in 2019. The first result of partnership was the Exynos 2200, which used the RDA2-based MGX2 architecture. After that, the Exynos 2400 and Exynos 2500 used MGFX3, which brought steady improvements in graphics performance and efficiency. Now with the Exynos 2600, Samsung is moving to MGX4 based on RDNA 4, marking the most advanced step so far. That while the Exynos 2400 and 2500 GPUs were co-developed by AMD and Samsung, the Exynos 2600 GPU is different. This time Samsung used AMD's RDA 4 architecture as a base, but the actual GPU development was handled entirely in-house. This shows that Samsung has gained enough experience and confidence to design a high-end mobile GPU on its own while still benefiting from AMD's proven graphics technology. This move also hints at Samsung's future plans. Reports suggest that the Exynos 2800 will be the first Exynos chipset to feature a fully in-house Samsung GPU architecture, without relying on AMD's RDNA design at all. If that happens, the Exynos 2600 will act as a bridge between AMD-assisted GPUs and Samsung's fully independent graphics future. From a gaming perspective, the Exynos 2600 looks very promising on paper. A 2 times jump in GPU performance and a 50% boost in ray, tracing could make mobile games smoother, more detailed, and more console-like than ever before. Higher efficiency per compute unit also means better sustained performance, reducing issues like thermal throttling during long gaming sessions. However, promises and specifications do not always tell the full story. Real-world performance depends on many factors, including software optimization, thermal management, and how well game developers take advantage of the new GPU features. Past Exynos chips have sometimes struggled to match their rivals in sustained performance, even when their specs look strong. This is why comparisons with competing chips will be very important. Apple, Qualcomm, and MediaTek are all pushing hard in the flagship chipset space. Apple's custom GPUs are known for their efficiency. Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips dominate the Android gaming market, and MediaTek has been closing the gap quickly with its Dimensity lineup. The true test for the Exynos 2600 will be how it performs side by side with these competitors in everyday use and demanding games. In the end, the Exynos 2600 represents a bold step forward for Samsung. Being the first smartphone chip built on a 7M process and the first Exynos to use AMD's RDA4 GPU architecture makes it a landmark product, with in-house GPU development major performance claims, and a clear roadmap toward full independence, Samsung is signaling that it wants to be a serious leader in mobile graphics and performance. Whether the Exynos 2600 can deliver on all these promises will only be known once real devices reach users' hands.